Minister Jane Kumar inspects preparedness against COVID-19 at Indo-Myanmar border. Leaders cross globe call for gender equal wall on International Women's Day. And 10th Annual Sports Meet 2020 of Amju begins. Hello and welcome to Times of Manipur News. I'm Jay Shainam giving you the news in details. Manipur Health Minister L. Jain Kumar today inspected preparedness against coronavirus at Technopol District's Moray along indo Myanmar border. He was accompanied by Principal Secretary Vulan Mang, Health Director K. Rajo, Technopol District Deputy Commissioner M. Rajkumar and other officials. The minister also met leaders of civil society organizations. He told them not to panic about COVID-19. Jain Kumar instructed the medical teams at screening centers to remain alert and not to take cliff. He also said that awareness programs will be held in the border area of educate, to educate the people on coronavirus. <laughs> All the team, including MOs, the health workers, the nurses, the therapists, come to pull up. Later, we must excellently have been a city to get the commander of Hanaki to Leaders across the country and the global are calling for a gender equal world as they celebrate achievers in different fields of International Women's Day today. Prime Minister Narendra Modi this morning tweeted greetings on Women's Day and wrote, We salute the spirit and accomplishments of our Nari Sakti. Earlier this week, PM Modi had said that he would give him up his social media accounts to women whose life will inspire all. This will help them ignite motivation in millions. The post on Tuesday came after a surprise tweet on Monday. Governor of Manipur Dr. Najma Habtala greeted people of Manipur, especially the women folk, on the occasion of International Women's Day. She said she has been celebrating Women's Day since 1975 when the United Nations declared the day. Dr. Najma said this, this declaration conveys a message on equality, peace and development. Regarding gender equality, she pointed out that women are still struggling for their positions. Dr. Najma also expressed displeasure over the uninterrupted crimes and violence against women in Manipur. Yes, women have developed in our country and world over very well. Equality, to some extent there is equality, but there are still women who are not equal. They are still struggling for their positions. And peace, what's the meaning of peace? It's not just world peace. It is the peace in the house of a woman, in the life of a woman. And then today we are concerned with the violence against women. Now we have to fight against this violence against women because every day we read in the newspapers and on television the cases of violence against women are not reducing. So while I wish all of you a very happy Women's Day, we hope we will achieve all of our objectives and goals as far as equality of women is concerned. The peace in the life of women is concerned and the development of women is concerned. 
Our Prime Minister is very concerned about it and we should follow the direction of his. All Manipur Women's Voluntary Association and Mawova also celebrated International Women's Day at GM Hall in Fall. The program was held under the team Let Us Carry the Struggle Forward. Association President Y. Kunjirani said that Amawova has been celebrating Women's Day since 1995. She urged every section of the society to encourage gender equality. <laughs> The 10th Annual Sports May 2020 of Old Manipur Working Journalist Union, Amju, has kicked off today at Manipur Press Club in Fall. The union also honored women journalists by presenting simple gifts to mark the National Women's Day. At the opening event of the three-day sports meet, Amju President Bijoy Kakching Tabam said gender equality can bring development in a society. Manipur Information and Public Relations Minister D. H. Biswajit Singh stated that the growing numbers of women journalists in the state has indicated that there is change. He was participating in the celebration of International Women's Day 2020 at Manipur Press Club Infal, organized by Amju. The minister in this speech, in his speech on the occasion also lauded the role of women in the society. He also appealed to everyone to join the global fight against coronavirus. <laughs> Education Minister T.H. Radeshyam also attended the function. He stated that those who think men are powerful than women is irrational. He underlined on the need to respect women and said that only lip service will not do, we need to show it sincerely. Radeshyam said everyone should appreciate the role played by women in the society. If they are older than us, I don't see the international women's day. We should never forget, celebrate our Katanata, Nomitsida, Kaikan of Katanata. Matania celebrate our Sahima, the Amunus, and the big thing of the Kaikan of Papa, Moy Rai, Divine, and my Amun, and sent us in another. A queen must see celebrate our city who hunt to Sulayan for the way Samaso of Papa, some other soil in Hoygani. Altogether, 34 people from different political parties in Langtabal constituency today joined Log Gen Sakti Party LJP. In this connection, a function was held at the private residence of Manipur Consumer Affairs Food and Public Distribution Minister Karam Shyam located at Lilong Chajing, Myron Kong. Karam Shyam is currently the lone LJP mem MLA in Manipur. On the occasion, Shyam expressed hope that LJP will win some more seats in the next state assembly polls. He also emphasized on the need to bring a big change in infrastructural development in the state. The minister said whatever development programs being taken up in Langtabal constituency is because of people's support and cooperation. <laughs>
now it's time for short break. Keep watching Times of Manpur News. Adong ki angang na school da kari tauri, oza na kari takpiri. Yum da giyama di office da giyam na lai na. Life class yengba yaraba state asa gi ahan ba school and day care. Tiny fit ki oi na admission hauzare. Backless school, CCTV camera safe and secure. Healthy breakfast and lunch at school. Highly qualified and caring staff. Creative activities and educational games. Interactive learning through music and movement. 50% less on admission fee for the first 20 students. Contact Tiny Feet, Malom Bazar, Tuliyaima. Manipur University, the affiliate Tauraba South Asian Institute of Rural and Agricultural Management, Sairam, Langjing Achoba, Infal West, ki admission house. Course saying the BSc Agriculture, BSc Horticulture, Amadi, Bachelor of Business Administration, BBNE. Form Thaba, April Gidat Wandagi Hogjaragani. Akupamurol Gidamak, a Kogi website, www.sairam.org.in Natraga. A Kogi phone number, 9612812346 Natraga, 7641929924 for the contact of you. Senior for Senior Care, Madeleine Home Health Care Service na Ahal Singi Damak Pai Chaba Thaurang Ama Oina Senior for Senior Care Hai Bat Thaurang Asigi Damak Ahang Bafong Kare Kaujuri Masida Masha Ki Sahi Kuntra Manga Dagina Yang Khai Manga Fawu Ki Manung Dalai Ba Class Dien Pass Thaura Ba Thawai Yawban Nupa Amadi Nupi Singh Na Apply Tobi Ba Yagani on job training oina 3 months training Thauraba Matung Da Madeleine Home Health Care Service Ta Thabak Tawwe Yabagi Khudong Chaba So Pizari Masida Sarv Gyabining Ba Miu Singh Na Satli Ba Thaasigi Tara Fawagi Manung Da Ahongai Lairak Nia Zenims Hospital Porong Pata Laiba Madeleine Hair Office Ta Lakpi Duna Application Form Lowi Ba Yagani Amadi Akupa Marol Gita Mag Tanabi Welcome back after the break. President of Extrajudicial Execution Victim Families Association, Manipur Ifam and Human Rights Activist Renu Taklambam from Manipur took part as one of the speakers in the 43rd regular session of UN Human Rights Council held at Geneva. The event, which started from February 24, will continue till March 20. She spoke on the issue of promotion and protection of human rights, civil, political, economic, social and cultural rights. Renu Takalambam also raised two important issues on the communal tension over National Register of Citizens, NRC and Citizenship Amendment Act CAA in Indian capital Delhi and the Northeast regions of the country. Democratic Students Alliance of Manipur Dasam today observed International Women's Day 2020 on the theme I am Generation Equality, Realizing Women's Right at the head office of the Alliance at Kwakaitel in Imphal. Imphal Municipal Corporation IMC Ward No. 12, Corporator Potsangbam Premila, Desam President Nangmai Rakpam Edition Maite, Was Dave, President RK Taraksana, members of the Sam and several well-wishers attended the function. And the Tokbam Bowling Center was opened today at Kumaik City Center, Vishal Megamart, Imphal. Owned by Atokpam Gopay, the bowling center is the first of its kind in the state. Speaking at the event, proprietor Mocha Atokpam, who is also a tattoo artist, appealed to the masses to visit the center. I am not sure how many people are in the bowling center. I am not sure how many people are in the bowling center. I am not sure how many people are in the bowling center. कि स्टूडियो जो अदम कोलैबोरेट होना ना कंधा दम हाफ्जरी। The national capital region appears to be the hotbed of coronavirus in India, with 19 of a total of 34 cases arising from the region. Three more cases were reported yesterday, which took a total tally of to 34. A Delhi resident who had a travel history to Italy was the first one to test positive from the region. Six of his family members in Agra also tested positive for the virus. 14 tested positive for the virus in a group of Italian nationals at ITBP's a quarantine facility in Chola, Delhi. The group had traveled to Rajasthan wherein two other Italian tourists tested positive for coronavirus in Jaipur. 
As of now, two people have been reported positive for the virus in Ladakh, two in Jaipur, one person in Tamil Nadu, a Techi from Hyderabad, and six people in Agra who caught the infection from the Delhi resident. The District Administration of Eastern Assam, Sif Sagar, has urged the Danijans not to panic over the outbreak of coronavirus. Meanwhile, the District Health Department has taken all precautionary measures to prevent entry and spreading of the deadly coronavirus. As per media report, the Deputy Commissioner Lakinanda Gogoi is constantly monitoring the measures taken by the District Administration, Health and Tourism Departments in this regard. The Deputy Commissioner had already held a crucial meeting with District Development Commissioner Nawab Al-Azhar Ali and Joint Director of Health Services of the District Civil Hospital to contain the deadly virus. The Enforcement Directorate ED arrested Yes Bank founder Rana Kapoor on late Saturday night under money laundering charges in Mumbai News Agency PTI reported. Kapoor was questioned on Saturday by the agency which conducted searches at premises associated with Yes Bank promoter. Kapoor was placed under arrest around 3 a.m. Under, under the provision of Prevention of Money Laundering Act PMLA as he was allegedly not cooperating in the prop, PTI reported quoting officials. They added that he will be produced before a local court during the day to obtain custody. Kapoor was questioned over a rupee 600 crore loan from a non-banking financial company, NBFC, which is an associate company of Diwan Housing Finance Limited, DHFL, to Dolt Urban Ventures India Private Limited, a company owned by Kapoor's family at a time when Yes Bank had loaned exposure of over rupees 3,000 crore to DHFL. Rana Kapoor was the MD and CEO of Yes Bank till January 2019. Documents available with the Register of Companies under the Ministry of Corporate Affairs shows that Dolt was incorporated in 2012 when Rana Kapoor wife Bindu as its director. Moirang Kendra Progressive Front MKPF organized a cooking gas connection program at Moirang Film Lakai in Bishnupur district today. Social worker Thongam Santi Singh, Mohammad Abdullah, advisor of M MKPF, K. Naba and Pradhan of Torbung Gram Panchayat C.H. Apabi Devi attended the program. Around 150 individuals got gas connection during the program. Once again, it's time for a short break. Keep watching Times of Manpur News. Nauka Hearing at Center. Kumja listening to the phone. Notice India at Hearing at Clinic. Nauka Info Center. Notice India at Hearing at Clinic. Nauka Info Center. 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 Nauka Info Nauka Hearing at Clinic. Nauka Info Center. 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 Nauka Nauka Info Center. Nauka Info Center. Nauka Info Center. Nauka Info Near Community Hall, mobile number na 60009-54159. Lumsingberg Cab brings you a brand new fare chart for wedding packages. Package number one, within Infall City area up to the range of 15 kilometers for six hours at rupees 1800 only. Package number two, outside Infall City area ranging from 15 kilometers to 30 kilometers for six hours at 2000 rupees only package number three outside Imphal city area beyond 30 kilometers for six hours to eight hours at rupees 2600 only for details suggestions or feedback please contact 18001027959 or 87946131544 or visit our office at nagamapal rims road near nityananda mandir admission open the Knowledge Home Boarding and Coaching Center Foundation course for class 9 and 10 will start from 18 April 2020 and foundation course for 11 and 12 will start from 15 April 2020 Course highlights Small batches Conceptual based knowledge Chapter wise test Individual attention Regular feedback and parents teacher session Free personal counseling For details please contact the Knowledge Home Boarding Income Coaching Center, Hatta New Check on Road. Welcome back after the break. 
Residents of Paying and Kangchup areas have expressed dissatisfaction over the construction of a new brick field at 57 Kangchup Chiru Laukon. They allege that the construction work has destroyed canals and fields at the adjoining areas. Talking to Tom TV Payeng Gram Panchayat Pradhan Angom, Shyama Saki opposed the brick field construction work, citing its negative impact. La Loliba Kanguna singi me sing or somnabu or so a kwa se kwan zida nak naba zagasida my magi kudung saba yang naraga uwake ya kok talakadaba asumbagi among ba mayam si yang uraga la book lona riba sing da pataba mayam tolakada basigi yang uraga paying the lady ba kunza sing amadi la kola sida lo sariba lo me sing na hai riba se kola si ta widana gida makta mayam da hai zebani. Fayeng Chief Ning Thaujam Toyai Chakpa said that establishment of brickfield and stone crushers are prohibited at Fayeng. He said Fayeng has been declared as one of the carbon positive eco model villages by government of India. Toyai added that any step that goes against the wishes of the people will be dealt with seriously and will approach the concerned authorities for legal action. <laughs> I go as a lick last year, my coach in a loin of talent, as a college in a loin of my pump with him as a young boy of Namasi. How you more than the high? My pump is the second charge of Pogi Karim among Bayaroi, Leroy. I go pollution control me porke, a dolke, I do pollution control give me pork by Quay Madutar Karoi there. I go a tete from Mahungus Mang, but Tak by Mayama, Leroy, Mamma Madurai, who is the second guy's own culture is so long to be no says that. A month-long workshop on production of Manipuri classical solo dances choreography concluded today at Jain Dance Academy in Fall. The workshop was organized by Leanda Falk and Classical Academy under the sponsorship of Sangit Natak Academy, New Delhi. Secretary of Manipur State Kala Academy, El Keshwarjit, former principal of Government Dance College, Ranjit Adhikari, and Director of Progressive Artists Laboratory, K. Tiken Singh, attended the closing event where award winners of Manipur State Kala Academy were also felicitated. Progressive Artists Laboratory, I know, I'm going to talk about the situation in the city. I'm going to talk about the festival of classical music. I'm going to talk about the festival of classical music. Now we have the sports news. Six-time world champion MC Mericom, 51 kg from Manpur is one win away from securing Olympic bread after she advanced to the quarterfinal with victory of the Asian qualifiers in the month of Jordan yesterday. According to media reports, second-seeded Mericom produced a typically clinical performance to dismantle New, New Zealand's Commonwealth Games bronze winner Tasmin Bani for a 5-0 triumph. Up next for Mericom is Filipino Iris Magno, who called Clobert Hong Kong's Winnie O, Yin Yin to force a win in just the second round of her last 16 bout. Mericom made it look quite easy as she outmaneuvered the Kiwi boxer with her sharp reflexes and a superior counter-attacking game. The 37-year-old veteran command, command over the proceedings was quite impressive. All Manipur United Clubs organization Amuko today distributed sports kit to local clubs in connection with the upcoming Yaosang Sports Festival. At the event, Amuko President Nando Luang said that the sports kit were distributed to the local clubs to encourage games and sports for a healthy society. The 9th Kangli Mega Sports Festival 2020 was kicked off today at Mapal Kangjibung, Imphal. The six day event is being organized by Kanglipa Student Association, KC. Kairao MLA, Lauren Bam Rameshwar Singh, Rameshwar Maite, KC President and Chetan, 
Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur Kosim Chairman Lamabam Mahendra Singh, National International Awardee H. Ibotombi Kuman, and MIT Principal Professor R.K. Hema Kumar Singh, who also attended the function. International Golden Girl Championship 2020 gold medalist Wangjam Ibetoibi Chanu participated in the opening function as the torch bearer. <laughs> Manipur team who participated in Sony Pictures Network SPN National Inclusion Slum Soccer Cup 2020 was felicitated today at Thangweban Thao Ground Infal. The SPN National Inclusion Slum Soccer Cup 2020 was held at Pangjim, Goa on February 28 and March 3rd this year. The Manipur team backed the overall championship title of the tournament participated by 24 states. Organizer of the felicitation function, El Subhas Chandra, congratulated the state team and wished them a successful journey in the future. Luna Luna na ako yung angang nupa marakta gi mosi Mexico to pangtho ko to revisit isda ako yung nupa msa niim su kalag lai raban. Ada gi moy protein da hapaga kano tora abhay tar. Mi masing si nupa gi tara with cause causes and manager ando ka nupi gi su tara with causes and manager ando may na sana ba. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Minister Jane Hukmine's pack preparedness against COVID-19 at Indo-Myanmar border. Leaders across the globe call for gender equal world on International Women's Day. And 10th annual sports May 2020 of Amju begins. That's all we have in this bulletin. Keep watching Times of Manipur News.